Well, hello folks. Welcome back to this Tennis Manager 2023 save. I'm the Custard Prophet and we're right at the end of Season 1 at the uh, Custard Tennis Academy. Krusty Bun has had a fabulous season uh, and he's playing his final match here in Ontario. This is an important one to come back for because we do want to know what happens after this match. Do we get some money because we're currently 155000 in debt? Um, will he be happy to set some um, sensible goals at the end of the season? Because he's told me he's not happy with me uh, because I wasn't going to change his coach because I couldn't afford to do it. Uh, and a bunch of other things. Uh, what What is going to happen? What, what, is he, what goals is he going to set? Lots of things to figure out. So let's uh, let's have a look how we've done, and then we'll dive into this uh, tournament in Ontario. Okay, just one tournament played, and we actually didn't win it. Bizarrely, we we lost in the final. Slightly disappointing performance here, uh, losing to Martin Del Nido um, in in two sets. We were very, very easily through this before that, beaten a Argentinian ranked even higher than this guy quite comfortably. So yeah, just didn't quite get it done. But we are comfortably in the top 50 now. I think we're about 42nd uh, in this match. So this is going to be fun. Um, we're actually playing in it's a, it's a junior 100 event, but the, the quality of this event looks infinitely hard. I'll show you that. So look, we are top seed. Yes, but we actually have players in the top 100 here, which we don't normally have. And we're starting out with a game against a player who's 150th in the world. So that is going to be a tough one. Right, let's see how we get on. Right, so he's in good form. He's got a good win rate on indoor court. He's a top spinner. So he's good at focus and anticipation, composure and drop shots and things like that. He's not so great at. Okay. So I've been more inclined to play the on the body stuff recently let's i'm going to just figure out what i'm going to choose here and then we'll come back right so we picked the random one uh if you win i will steal the microphone of the speaker and sing say saga africa um because i'm just trying to figure out the order of the emotion um uh options so uh, i've actually got i think all of them other than that it's been a bit complicated to work out but uh, let's get into the match Right, let's get into it and see what happens. Well, it's 4 all. It's close, but we might have a chance here. 15-40. Come on, Krusty. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot harder because it's a better quality opposition than we are used to playing. I think we almost find the corner there. One thing I think I am going to just try doing here is just put our rally position ever so slightly back. I think that might help us. Got another break point though here at four all. This guy just hasn't given up much. That's a lovely hit. Into the net, and we have got that break. That's important. Absolutely zoom through. 40 love. And uh, there we go. Well done. And 6 4. Good performance there against the 150th best player in the world. Let's get into that second set. I don't think we need to do anything else. Right, one all in the second set. We've got a chance here at 30-40. Oh, what a hit that was. Absolutely stunning. And that might be enough to take us all the way through. We'll have to see. There we go. And we are 5-2 up. We've got three match points. Nicely worked. It's just out there, 15-40, and we've we've need to get through this first match into the bottom of the net. A good victory there. So, right, we're still presumptuous, um, but I'm pretty happy with that victory. It's it's nice. Can we carry on though? We're going to be playing Goran Zagola. Don't know how good he is, but you know he sounds good. Hundred, so a slightly bit better, 135th in the world. Got a very good victory against someone ranked even better than the player we've just beaten. So this might be even more of a challenge. It, it doesn't get easy. It doesn't get easier. So Krusty, very good victory there in the uh, round of 16 against Goran Zagola. There was some tightness in, in that match at the end, but we got through it well. And we are going to be playing the wild card Navinat Ragumran, 
who has uh, surprisingly beat the seventh seed um, in in the last match. So we'll see what we can do against this this guy. We have played him before. We have beaten him before. We've beaten him pretty easily before. He's in medium form, and uh, he's never been beyond the quarterfinal in this category. So this is something something new for him. Um, he's got tactical skills and return of strength. He's he's a, he's a player with no weaknesses, which is interesting. So let's put him under some pressure. So we've motivated him to determined, which is great. So moved him up the ladder. Well, it's one all, and we have a 15-40 lead here. Oh, I thought we were going to catch the line almost, very almost. Come on. This is for... There we go. That is for the break. 2-1. That's an important one. And we are putting the pressure on 30-40-3-1 up in this first set. We know... He's going to have to work hard to, to better us. And that was a beautiful little drop shot there. Juice. Another advantage here to take a 4-1 lead in this first set. This would be massive. Second serve. Again, putting the pressure on him. And he's just gone long there. We have the break. It's 4-1. Two breaks already in this first set. Second opportunity to win the set. This time on our own serve. 5-2. Gone right down the middle with the serve, couldn't deal with it, and we have the uh, the set. Well done. Second set now. See what we can do here. Not changing anything. Already a break opportunity or a couple at love all 1540 up in this second set, and there we go. One love. Can we run through this and take this second set now? There we go. It's been. Really straightforward, just walked through the second set without really much effort. We're 40-30 uh, up and this is the chance to uh, to take it. And that's a lovely little volley, couldn't get anywhere near it. And uh, we win 6-2, six, 6 love into the semi-finals, folks. Starting to get um, nearer the, uh, the money. So... Playing the 190th ranked uh, Cyrus Mahub. I think we've played him before as well in the semi-finals. We just beat the, the qualified Navneet Raghuram, um, or the wild card, um, who was 391st. It, it was a straightforward match, 6-2-6, six, six, love. This one I expect to be much harder. Right, what, what do we say here? I didn't quite get it right, but he's not in a bad state. Um in terms of his emotions so um, we will live with that I think this really highlights that he can probably do well maybe even at the next level up because he's he's still at this, these better players he's still able to deal with them so I think we have played this guy before I forgot to look but here we go we're going to go with it uh, on the body and see how things go I forgot to actually look at this guy as well this might not be good well, it's 3-all, and we are 15-40 up on his serve. Not much happening. He's given away a double fault, and that might be really important. Can we take the set now from here? Well, we might be able to. We're 5-3 up, love 40 up on his serve. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been tight. He's not given much away, but neither have we. So... He's coming into the net here and down the line. And there it is, first set without much issue. And uh, looks looks good for going into that second set. We're, we're looking enthusiastic. That all looks very good to me. Okay, the motivation could be better. Uh, but you look at him, he's stressed. Although his motivation is good. So um, maybe something to work on there. We can't do anything just yet, but we might do that in the next set. Right. Second set. Well, we have got a break point to save here. Remember, we need to get the motivation back up from um, concerned. Trying to get it up to uh, determined. Got it back to juice, though, there. And that is what we like to see. We got the uh, service game eventually. And then 
on this service game we have two break points and he's gone long and it's two love and we are in the driving seat in set number two four one up and we love 40 and looks really good for another final That's, this is good 40 15 but look at this oh no 40 30 great serve there he's putting the pressure on but he's got a long way to come back from this Krusty is is not going to give him a hope and there we go it's 5-1 and that, that surely is that well we've got a match point 40-30 come on Krustos missed the first serve he's got the second one in oh, it's gone long unbelievably right match point advantage on Krusty serve and he's got it with the ace. Very nice. 6-3, six, 6-1. Six, that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. And we are into the final. So here we go in the final against the second seed, Albert Saar. This is going to be one of the harder matches that we've played in recent times. And it's the final match of the season. You can see Saar's got some very poor win percentages for the year. But my bet he's been playing at a higher level. His machine baseliner. Uh, so he doesn't have a big weapon. Uh, so his strengths are anticipation and return again doesn't have a weakness I'm sure he does we just have a rubbish staff so not quite sure what to do with that but I think what I will do is just go on the body this feels like the right thing to do right this is interesting so emotion is as high as it possibly can go confidence not in a bad place I think I think confidence is actually one way you've got to sit with it in the middle rather than too high and too low um, but these two are a little bit of a problem. Demotivated, I think, is the lowest it could possibly be. And relaxation of troubled is the second lowest it could be. So I think we need to deal with the, the motivation issue. Uh, but the best we can do is get it up to indecisive, which is not great. Right, we're going to go with this one. I don't have this particular... Oh, it didn't work. So we are going to go in a rather precarious mental state, which is not an ideal thing. We're going to have to do some chatting during the game, probably at the end of the set as well. And this might lead to a poor first set, potentially. But let's see if we can... We've upped his relaxation. So he's, his relaxation's up to troubled which is what it was originally, so we haven't actually gone anywhere with that. Well, that said, we seem to be doing all right. We've won the first game. We are 30-40 up in the uh, second game. Chance to get something out of it. Don't manage it, though. Well, we are giving away. It's 5-all now here, and we are giving away an advantage here at the worst possible time. It's not been much going on, but it's into the net, so that's fine. And we have a set point at 6-5. I haven't had much to shout about in this set, but neither has he. And into the net. What a mistake that is. So that's a huge boost to us. Does that do anything? It still, we sit there demotivated. 15-40 down here. Chance. Well, lovely serve there. 30-40. Another break opportunity, though. Just, just keep, yeah, keep playing the ball over the net. Keep it in the court. Simple as that. Love all now. Another advantage for him. Third break point in this set so far. And we've given it away that time. We are one love down in the second set. We have got a chance here. We are 30-40 up. It's just gone wide with that. It must have been close, but it's two all. And look, looky, looky, we got chances to go ahead here. We are 15-40 up, 3-2 up. Make that 4-2. That's huge. Come on, Krusty. And here we go. After going 2-1 down very early and a breakdown, we are up now 5-2. And got a real chance here to do it. And we just missed that. Another opportunity here. For a championship point, our third. Oh, that's a 
Or so maybe our fourth Junior 100 tournament win. We are unbelievable this season. It's just come over. What a lucky, lucky bounce for them. Well, he might have had a lucky bounce that kept him in the last game, but this looks all over. Shawnetta is... Not Shawnetta. Krusty is so dangerous with that serve. 7-5, 6-3. Championship winners. And we've done it. Well done, Krusty Bun. Won his final tournament of the year in Ontario. He's going off for the, uh, the World Cup event, and we'll show you how he gets on there as well. We'll see you in a second. I've just reached seasoned as a manager and had a successful season. Very nice. So I'm going to let the World Cup happen and we'll see how Krusty got on in that. So he is in the junior event. So he's going to start off with a match against um, Spain. And Krusty is now... He might well be um, playing in the singles as well this time, uh, which will be interesting to see how he gets on. So Phoenix Weir, so Krusty's now ahead of Victor Friedrich, so we'll see how he gets on. This is exciting. Krusty um, got all of his goals. That was nice. Do want to see how he got in the World Cup. So, oh, we lost out here. So did Krusty give up the victory here? Because that would be disappointing if they did, if he did. Oh, Krusty Bun lost easily to their player. Very, very disappointing. And the doubles failed as well. Oh, dear. So Krusty did not quite get it done. Uh, Weir did, on the other hand, to keep things alive. But, oh, Krusty went out first and lost. Oh, I'm gutted for him. Absolutely gutted. He's uh, He's got... He had a good record up to now, but uh, yeah, not to be. Not to be at all. So, rewarding season, absolutely. Yeah, we definitely reached the objectives. We know the strengths and weaknesses. So, we'll, we're going to train Krusty Bon up to be a beast. So, not quite what he wanted. Uh, we... Recruited a player with a status of secondary player or better. I guess that's crusty. Yes, we're not going to do any of this because we, we can't. But we don't have any money. You're going you're gonna to give us some money maybe? Let's see. So we actually finished up in the top 40, which is pretty nice. 39th at uh, the, uh, the end of the season, um, which is a really good season. All the way from... Over 500th or 500th to 39th, pretty good. And I'm going to wait now to see when we actually find something out about cash because you kind of need that. Right, so sports goals for next season. We'll, uh, we'll start the discussion. We've got to set the goals on the pro circuit. So you're wanting to go on the pro circuit, okay. Top 1,500. Okay, is that ambitious? Qualify for a national tournament. Okay. Well, top 70. It's probably not 70 people. That I don't think we could be any le le less ambitious. On the junior circuit. Okay, we'll set some goals. I'm going to say top three, top ten. Participate in the finals competition. Fine. <laughs> what the hell? Quarterfinals of a Grand Slam. Right. I think that's all doable. Maybe. Right. What does the board say? Oh, and there it is. Ooh. £270,000 into the bank account, which means we've got ninety-three grand to spend. So I think we almost have to just get in there as quickly as we possibly can do and just put in some infrastructure. So I'm going to have a look around and see what makes the most sense. Right, so 
what I think we're going to do, I think we can get 20 grand a month coming in, which I'm hoping will be enough. So we're going to get the pool here, uh, and that will give us 30, uh, so that costs 35 grand, and that will get, get us 12 grand coming in a year. So that's fine. I think it's up to though. And then we'll also get the yoga and meditation room, which will get us about six grand coming in. Hopefully, those are the right things to do. Uh, we spent a bit of cash there. I think everything else actually is going the other way. So when the clay court brings in a little bit more, but than it loses but I'm not sure it's worth it at this point we can barely afford it so I think we wait and see which direction things are going the paddle court is another option I suppose we could have bought that in could have done that instead of that might have been the better option because we just get a little bit more money out of that that was probably the better option actually for just so there's about three grand we're missing out on hopefully that's not the end of the world, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, folks, we're going to leave it there. Krusty has had a fabulous season. He's got all the way to a whole load of finals, won a bunch of tournaments. It is all good for Krusty. Uh, we've sorted out next season goals. There's some ambitious ones there, I think, um, on the junior tour. But I think the, the ones on the main tour, I think, are pretty doable. Um and uh, we finally got some money in the bank and we've upgraded some facilities. It has all happened in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope actually it's recorded well. Uh, if you have enjoyed that, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Well, um, big thank you again to all of those uh, channel members and everyone else who has been watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>